Galliard Island, located in Mobile Bay, had an interesting beginning. Named after Dr. M. Wilson Galliard, a Mobile dentist and environmentalist, the island was formed from the disposal of dredge material, created when a five-mile shipping channel connecting Mobile Bay to Theodore Industrial Park was formed in 1979. The project was controversial from an engineering and environmental standpoint. Little did they know the conservation success story the island would become. All right, well, on Galliard Island, which is in Mobile County, about, about 10 miles south of downtown Mobile. And this island, though it's a, a great area for birds, as you can hear and see now probably, it was not created for the birds. The birds have been a kind of a great uh, benefit to the island. It's now the most important uh, nesting site for these colonial seabirds that we have here. Today, Galliard Island is an important habitat for thousands of birds representing 15 different species of skimmers, stilts, terns, pelicans, egrets, herons, ducks, and rails. The Alabama Division of Wildlife and Freshwater Fisheries has conducted annual surveys for over 20 years, closely monitoring the colonial nesting shorebirds and seabirds on the island. Pelicans started nesting here in 1984. There were three nests. Now annually we have approximately 5,000 uh, pelican nests on this island each year. The brown pelican was protected by the Endangered Species Preservation Act of 1970, a precursor to the Endangered Species Act. The listing was due to hunting in the early 1900s and further decline of the species due to widespread use of DDT until its ban in 1972. In 1985, the U.S. Fish and Wildlife Service dropped the species from the endangered species list, partly due to increased nesting and propagation of the brown pelican on Galliard Island. We come out here periodically to keep tabs on the birds that are nesting out here, to see where they're nesting, get an idea on the numbers that are out here, and, and throughout the years to, to keep track of the trends that are going out here. Now, if we saw a sudden decrease and say the number of pelicans that were nesting out here, it might alert us to something that's going on either out here or maybe the environment as a whole. Monitoring our non-game wildlife is important. The Alabama Division of Wildlife and Freshwater Fisheries staff conducts surveys across the state to monitor the health and well-being of wildlife like the birds on Galliard Island. These surveys wouldn't be possible without conservationists who purchase hunting licenses in our state because that money is used for both game and non-game species. Everyone who purchases an annual Alabama hunting license is contributing to the efforts to manage and conserve wildlife. To learn more about the non-game wildlife program, visit OutdoorAlabama.com. <laughs>